in the humble hills of the avium savannah. You ain't a man until you settled up your first capybara. Howdy there, partner. My name's Woody Wild, and this is the Wild West. I've lived at the Locust Oasis my whole life, but now that our borders have opened, it's time for me to leave home and see the big white world. For the first time, Balamorians with a passport can enter Mistelin's borders, as well as a place called Port Serim that can take me over to Greater Corum by ship. Plus, I've heard of a land called the Wilds that nobody rules over, and that sounds just like home to me. I wonder if they have capybaras there too? I'm sure no harm will come in finding out. Hello again everyone and welcome back to the Wild West. We're on episode 6 here, I'm kicking off my filming for this episode and this is my last lap of the Varrock Agility course, lap 406. We are about to hit 52 Agility, which is the requirement for the Wilderness Agility course. And there it is. We finally, finally outgrown Varrock. I've been running a lot of laps. You might notice some other levels too. I've got a bit more magic and a bit more ranged than I previously did. I've been spending time at Giants and it took the piss, let me tell you. Well, Moss Giants were pretty kind actually. I got my Mossy Key yesterday after only 117 in total, so that's okay. Hill Giants, it took 565 kills for us to get a giant key. That is absolutely absurd. But we've got both keys sat there in the bank waiting to go now. So we can go and kill those and scurry us when we feel ready to. I think we just need some more levels because we're not that strong and I was looking in the mop at the like recommended default lowest levels were higher than mine right now so I'm feeling like I need some levels and I feel like I need protection prayers. With all that in mind I'm also need money because we keep running low buying arrows and runes all the time so I'd need a proper way to make money or at least I need to make a little bit of change today so that I can just afford some supplies and not have to keep bankrupting myself. So I've got a few kind of mixed goals for, for at least today's session but those keys are going to stay there for now and I'm going to do some training of my stats. Uh, but first we are going to go do Vampire Slayer because that will help boost the attack XP. I don't even think it'll get as a level but close. Then I'm thinking I'm gonna kill big frogs for a bit. Wild, I know. I didn't bring cash with me. I'm an idiot. Okay. Should be a fairly simple fight to be fair. We are over leveled for it at this stage so this will be a quick little one to knock out. Look at this absolutely menace right now. I suppose I should probably progress some bits of Ernest the Chicken while I'm here too. Or do it. I don't know if I can be able to do the full thing but we're going into the manor, so we should. Oh yeah, I mentioned the whole frog thing, then forgot about it. I think I'm just going to go kill some frogs till I have big bones enough for 43 prayer, because we're not very far off at all. We've got enough to take us up to level 41 at the minute, so... If I'm collecting them from big frogs, giant frogs, whatever they're called, it'll be very quick to collect. You know, they've only got like 10 HP each and they all drop big bones, so... We'll be Gucci. Should be able to smack that out nice and quick and get some easy combat XP on whichever style I take to them. Cool. There's a vampire slayer. <laughs> ah, no, because I'm in gear and you do a lot of running around for it and it's the chicken, don't you? Yeah, I'd want to do that without all my armor on. I'm just going to home telly to Lumbridge and get started on the frogs. I'd rather get my range levels up more at the minute, so that's what I'm going to focus on here. This is low-key one of my favourite spots for a new account. I don't think many people make use of it, though. These giant frogs are th level 13 each, all dropping big bones. It's so good for early prayer training on just like any account that doesn't want to spend money on dragon bones or doesn't have access to the GE. They got 23 health each. It's not even that bad. Just got the first invent of big bones. It looks like we need 71 more, so two more invents. We'll take a little bit still, but at least we get some range training on the way. And this is probably the most efficient way for me to farm bones without access to dragons or the boneyard in the wilderness. Top up the health, back to business. 
Can I one click that? If I can, that's beautiful. Lovely stuff. Literally got a one click to the stairs or back to our spot. I'll see you when I've got the rest of these big bones. Got all the big bones we need here. Time to chisel them down into shards. <laughs> 36 crafting there from the bone shard chiseling. This is draining the very small cash supply I have. I started with like five and a half K. I don't think we're gonna have very much left at all by the end of this. I kinda like, I'm kinda stuck with money at the minute. I feel like once we get to the wilderness, I'm gonna be absolutely fine. Cause I can just go to Soul Wars or Last Man Standing, get supply crates or rune arrows, and I'll be pretty set at that point. But until I can get to the wilderness, I'm kinda stuck on how best to make money. I feel like it's just smithing, but that is so slow. And we don't have any fletching levels or all like that. It'd take a while to train them up, though it would probably be worth it in the long run. That's the last of the chiseling done. Time to go fetch some wine. Can't remember if we have any in the bank or not, so I'm just gonna go and buy some. One GP each. Oh shoot, is my calculator taking the insold heads into account? I can't use those yet. Oh fuck. Oh no, we're nowhere near protection prayers. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, we got more work to do, fucks. And I just used the wrong bird. It's all going tits up. Tits in a skyward direction. That's a good one. I might use that more often. Ah, oh, fuck. That's a lot more big buns we'd need to get. Oh, I need to bless my wine. I'm done. Up to 36. Ooh. Are we actually 50 XP away? That's so annoying. From level 39. And we're out. With 50 XP to go. Well, we got pre-mage online. So that's good. It's better than not having any. But... It's not ideal. I thought I thought we were done with prayer for now, and we're just not at all. So <laughs> maybe there's somewhere I could get like different buns now in Mistlin. I don't know. I don't think there's a lot going on in Mistlin, bun wise. We need another 25 kit. That's like double. <sighs> I'm gonna need protection prayers in Mistlin, no doubt to be able to get through Ulborum Briar Fighter and Scurrius, to be fair. How can I, how can I stock up bones and make money at the same time? Or stock up other prayer XP? Uh, yeah, there's not gonna be anything to get ashes from. All right, I'm gonna have a think for a bit about what to do regarding this prayer training and how I can make a little bit of money. So I'll probably come back on cam when I figured at least one of those out. I may also just try and get the last two beads for imp catcher. I'm gonna today, I think, do imp catcher, Romeo, Juliet, Ernest the Chicken, and then we'll just be two quest points away from being able to access the Champions Guild, which will give us green de eyed chaps and van braces and some rune pieces, just not the plate body. Which would be really nice to be able to have access to, even though we can't afford anything just now. So yeah, the money and the, the prayer both need sorting out. I'll, I'll get my brain thinking. All right, folks, so I decided to suck it up and get my thieving level up. I'd done a little bit, but not a great deal. Unfortunately, there's nothing really good for me to pickpocket right now, and level 50, when we get access to the rich citizens of Volamore, is going to be probably the best like where I have to make quick bits of GP in this early portion if I can just stomach the grind to get there. So we're on 33 at the minute. I spent the last I don't know, hour and a half, maybe two hours just thieving from this silk stall and I found this tile that is actually completely safe from the guards. They can never see me here. At least they haven't so far and I don't see them getting any line of sight to me because there's this pillar in the way so unless they like wander up here and then down here which i haven't seen any of them do we're gucci here like i've i've got about 300 of these silk banked which do sell to this silk merchant for 15 gp each with no rate of change so i will be able to get some cash out of it at least but i do have to wait half an hour between thieving and talking to them to be able to sell so I'm going to have to leave it banks and then come back a bit later to actually get my cash out of it. And yeah, I just need a couple more levels to get up to 35. 
five, and at that point we have access to this first all, which will pretty much double the experience rates. Although the fur is not worth as much money, it will be well worth it to get our thieving level up that much quicker. And I'm hoping that this tile that I've marked here will be exactly the same, because it's got the pillar in a similar spot. I haven't seen many garbs over this side, other than this guy who tends to st stick around the gem store. So yeah, that's my plan at the minute. I'm just going to sit here and thieve up to 50. Honestly, it might take me most of the day, but I think it's going to be worth it. It'll give me just the ability to have pocket money without worrying about running out and not knowing what to do for it. And I think that's worth the time investment it's going to take. So probably going to be a slow day of progress for me on the account, but should be well worth it in the long run. So the first all is completely thievable from this spot as I predicted. It's slightly close to the bank as well, which is slightly nice. And it's been going well, yeah. It's it's slow, but you know, it's the best option we have available. And actually I found out we can get a decent bit of money out of this grey wolf uh, about four times as much as it's showing on the high out value there, if it all goes well. So I just wanted to show what I've been doing because I had all this silk built up from the first portion of thieving. And if anyone else happens to be on a thieving journey in Valamore, this is the method that I found that works for me. I did all my silk and banked it. And now that the time has elapsed, I can go and sell them all to this guy. I don't have to do them one at a time because it's the same rate every time, no matter what, there's no rate of change. And that's just how I've been starting every trip back to the first all now. And then we can bank this fur when we're done. And apparently we can sell it to the guy in Varrock Square for 120 coins apiece. I think you have to go through a dialogue interface to do it though, so it might be very slow. We'll find out whenever we are done with the whole journey. We're going to have a lot more thieves of this stall before we actually do hit level 50 but at that point i'll probably just take the time to go and go through the dialogue interface a bunch of times if it helps us get a shit ton of money out of this this fur because we're gonna have a lot of it built up so yeah that's where i'm at the minute and uh i guess i'll see you all when i have another update well folks i decided to move on from the wolf fur because I didn't know how bad it was going to be. I had like 500 banked, and I, I wasn't sure how bad it was going to be to sell this shit. But let me tell you, I have just discovered the weirdest system ever. I've never seen anything in the game like this. So I'm more than happy to trade these in now, because all you have to do is go talk to my man, and there is a dialogue option where he asks you about Wolf, or you ask him about Wolf fur. He says like four words, and then he says, I'll buy it all off you. It doesn't go out of your inventory all at once. It does it once by bit by bit. If you click off, then it stops this process. But otherwise, it takes it bit by bit and the money just ticks up. It's so cool. Like, I don't... I don't know any system like that, and then you say thanks at the end. So this is actually not bad at all. I started off on 9k, and I guess I'll, when I'm sold up, we'll see how much cash I'm actually up to. I only got to level 41 thieving, not up to 50 like I was planning to, to actually unlock the moneymaker. Well, this could be a decent moneymaker in itself. I was about to give up and go to, not give up, but just to stop it and go to um, Master Farmers because I think the success rate is like 60% and as long as we're pickpocketing more than once every 7.2 seconds then it's faster than the wolf fur because it, it takes that long to respawn. So yeah, my, I, my thought was if I could get like more than one successful pickpocket on average every 7.2 seconds then... Master Farmers would be faster XP and get me up to that money maker. And I think I probably would still do that if my cash stack's not looking good enough. But based on how it looks right here, we've got... So this is... The high alk value is 30 coins, but he offers 120. So it's four times this. We're going to have like another 50k, basically. So 70k in total. I'm feeling pretty comfy with that as a cash stack. So I might get to uh, actually do some more interesting things today than just thieving. After all... Glad I kept hold of all of this and looked into it.
and that is the last of the wolf's fur. I'm not going to say how long it took because I was being distracted by Discord messages. I just organised the first RuneScape party. I'm so excited. Anyway, up to 70k. Very happy with that. I'm going to leave it there and I think I'm going to go quickly do Romeo and Juliet. I don't have that long to play, but I can smash this out for the quest points. And then, yeah, we'll see if I have any time after that to do more quests or not. But yeah, I just want to get up to 32 quest points now so I can get into that Champions Guild and buy myself a couple green DI pieces. And that's Romeo and Juliet cracked out for an easy five quest points. Didn't take too long at all. Killed a couple imps on the way too, which is why I have now just 20 prayer XP to go rather than 50. No beads, unfortunately. I am going to move on to... Ernest the Chicken next, that'll give me another, I think it's four quest points for Ernest the Chicken. And oh, I don't think you can see. Yeah, I guess you can't see until you've done it, but I'm pretty sure it's four. Uh, but I'm going to go get some food together first with the fam. So yeah, taking a break. See you guys with Ernest. I promise Ernest, my days of murdering the helpless chickens are behind me. I swear. Don't worry about why I geared up for this. You're definitely not going to come to any harm. Not if I have any say in it. Not reading the quest dialogue, obviously. We're RuneScape players, we don't do that. Let's kill this chicken. Wait, where the fuck did my victim go? Where the fuck is this guy? Well, that's a quest completed. We're up to 29 quest points now. Wants to kill the chicken. I am gonna see if I can get Imp Catcher done next. I've got two beads in the bank. A red one and a yellow one. So I need a black and a white. There's some imps just outside Falador's gates, which is legal area for me. I will make sure on my map that I'm staying within the borders. I suppose an amulet of accuracy is not bad. It's better than a defense that I'm using in the minute. So yeah, so pretty much up to the path is where i include like this path is where i included on my thingy -wajiggy. why have these yew trees got the blocked thing over them is that because i'm not the level yet i thought that was something they did in dead man when the trees didn't exist in safe zone yes as long as these imps don't cross the path or teleport into the city we're good hopefully we can get a couple range levels here because i need to top myself up to 40 before we actually get into the champions guild Oh, white bead! What the fuck? <sighs> Holy shit, we just need the black one now. Here comes the worst part of every imp catcher. The last bead. Okay, I'm gonna have to untag a blue wizard's hat. I've seen enough of those. Where are these little blighters? Please don't run over. Oh, I should bring telegrab in case one of them drops a, a bead over here, like teleporting as I get the kill. <sighs> That's 39 prayer off the ashes. We'll make sure to keep scattering those. I think that's our first mine talisman. No! It's okay. I didn't cross the path. Gotta be careful though. Don't want to get pulled into disgusting, unmarked territory. Oh, I swear down. Come on, just wander back over onto the path. Wander back over here. Okay. I guess when this happens... Oh. Oh. Oh, he's coming. We got him. Okay, if they both get stuck on the other side, I'm just going to have to hop. Open by standing on this side of him, it'll teleport in that direction if he does teleport. Okay, I don't really think we need a second mind talisman. We can't even get to the mind dollar. Wait, is it actually included, the mind dollar? I included a box around Goblin Village. Oh my days, it actually is in that box. It's like right on the edge, but pretty much within that area that I outlined. We can actually use them. I guess I'll take these just in case I ever need runecrafting XP and want to make tiaras because it's like a, a good XP rate on tiaras. We need a talisman for each one. For those who have never made one, I don't blame you. It's a red bead. God damn it. Oh, we got a sergeant. These do eventually give lamps. So we'll be doing them even though they're kind of long. Also, I've just looked up the imp spawns because every time they run near the path, I'm just thinking, man, I'm scared I'm going to accidentally go outside. Like I'm going to just burn to cinders in a second. But the point is, there are actually six imp spawns all within a close vicinity of each other near the iron mine in, uh, sorry, the coal 
uh, iron and gold mine in Valamor. So I think I'm just going to go down there because there's more imp spawns anyway. And I know I'm in a safe zone no matter where I run. So I can chase them down if I need to. I just thought I'd come over here at the time because I was near. But yeah, I guess we're not near a bank now. That's kind of annoying. Let's kill this one in case he gives us a bead. Oh, not that bead. So yeah, I'm going to make my way to Valamor, which means going to a bank so I can teleport to the rock and... Ooh, I could get a ship, couldn't I? But it costs money. I don't know how much it is for a charter ship to Valamor. Should we check? It's probably quite expensive, isn't it? I mean, we've got money, but that's in the bank. We may as well just teleport that point. So. 3k? You're having a giggle, mate. That is disgusting. Nobody should charge that much for a bloody boat ride. 3,000 smackaroons. I'm just going to grab these pineapples, because... We'll make super compost out of them at some point. Sorry, Mr. Seagull. Um, I'm not sorry enough, though, apparently. I'm gonna bully you, mate, too. Why am I waiting for the fucking drop? Standing over where he died. It's a seagull, bro. Actually, I may as well just shove these straight in the compost bin now. I was gonna deposit them on my way north, but might as well just fucking fill it up. Which so I might progress some of poor scene of interest actually because we need more quest points anyway it's a quick little quest we can do it it gives us slayer xp which is nice because we're gonna need all of that we can get i will slowly meander towards valamore by way of every distraction possible oh should we pickpocket our first master farmer that's a distraction isn't it what bruh i would like some seeds okay so those are seeds but they're not very good seeds it's an imp here though, he's more important than you are. Sorry to hurt your feelings that way. I lied, it wasn't important. Give me a Guam seed and I'll suck your dick. This guy attacking me for? Even from the farmer? I didn't know they did that. Right, let's actually just plant some crops. Alright, I'm just gonna progress the bits of passing of interest, not necessarily complete it all. Just thought if I'm going up there to do stuff, I might as well keep meaning to. I've just realised I can never get ultra compost because we can't get volcanic ash. So super compost is as good as it gets for me forever, which kind of sucks. But I think we at least get revive crops on Arceus. So maybe that can make up some shortfall. I don't know. There's 12 farming though. We can grow tomatoes now. One go on, so okay, I'm going to do the rest of that later. Oh, fuck. I forgot to bank this stuff. I guess I'll do a farm running Valamar as well. Not to bank it, to leprechaun it. So once I get up to watermelons, I should basically always be growing watermelons for super compost. Because there's nothing better to have in those patches anyway. Unless you need snake grass and you have the seeds. But as an iron man, that's rare. Like, you use them when you have them. All dead cabbages. F's in chat for the cabbages. Hey, maybe this chick will give us a guam seed. Just want to get some herb law levels, man. Maybe it isn't a 60% success rate. <laughs> oh, for four at the minute. 60% is what the wiki said, though, for this level. I'm getting absolutely smoked. Can I finish this level before this farmer kills me? That is the question. Oh, he's only going to done it. Okay, I'm going to stop there, though. She is twatting me. So marigolds protect tomatoes. So if I put marigold down, I think she just gave me one of them. Yep. Then these should be safe. Pretty sure that's how that works. Should give me... Not have to worry about getting the XP out of them then, because I think it will protect them. It might have to be grown first, so there still might be a chance that it, th this crop dies off. But then I think you can just leave it there without harvesting it. Oh, one straight up here. We'll be having your life. Thank you, matey. So another quest we may as well do while we're passing through. Besides, always got to check in with your old pops. I mean, the guy... Uh, no, no family relation. See, he doesn't even know me. He thinks I'm with the frogs. Wait, out of the requirement? What? Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, what an idiot. That's why. All right, then. As soon as they've made a big song and dance about it, I will get the requirements. I just realised that that second category title is a frog joke. Oh, 15 wood cutting. I can start the quest now. Type one in the comments if you think Cuthbert had it coming. And that's Ribbiton Tail down for a nice four woodcutting levels and another quest point. 
Nice and quick and easy. Oh, we've even got free restocks if we want them. We just grab iron arrows off the floor. There's a prayer thing there? I wonder how long it'd last on Hawk 2 Eye. Four minutes. I can recharge my prayer every four minutes at an hour. That's reasonable. Oh, that's a yellow bead. No use to us, unfortunately. Damn it, another red bead. It's always the last one, isn't it? This 39 ranged at least. Still getting things done. Just see beads all over the floor when I'm done. Except for black ones. Hey, what are these two buggers doing down here? How'd they get that far? I'm not going down for the ashes if they don't drop the bead. Another yellow one there. Ridiculous! Another yellow bead! Six yellow beads we've had. Four red, one white, no black. Tis the way of the imp. Seventh yellow bead. Eighth yellow bead. Too many yellow, too many yellow, yellow bead, too many yellow, too many yellow, yellow bead. Ninth yellow bead. Hmm, finally got our second white bead. There's another red one. Make that two, sorry. We have 18 beads, not one of them black. Oh! Thank fuck, we're out. Complain enough, it will come through. The 19th bead was a black one. 113 imps, and the imp catcher is ticked off the list. And there's the pop. Tiny bit of magic XP. More importantly, that amulet of accuracy, actually not too bad. Plus four to each style, melee, ranged, and mage. Just the accuracy, not the strength, but best amulet we currently have offensive-wise. Outside of the mage's amulet for mage specifically. I'm probably going to do a poor scene of interest next because I'm in the area and it gives me some Slayer XP. 1000 Slayer XP and 5k apparently. So that's cool. And 30 Slayer points. All good stuff basically. And yeah, it shouldn't take me too long. Just going to go for a spliff first. And then we'll crack that out and that'll be 32 quest points. Alright, let's get this show on the road. And then we have to run up there again because it's a RuneScape quest. Why make you run somewhere once when they can make you run somewhere twice? Easy money. May as well harvest these cabbages on the way through. I don't know if the compost bin will be done yet. Hmm, apparently it is. Thank you very much, 5k. Getting closer to being able to plant some herb seeds that I actually have. I know I've got, I'm pretty sure I've got my iron till, but they're less useful. And I, I'm fairly certain I've also got Taramin, which are more usable. And there is the quest. Don't want to get an assignment from her. We could accidentally lock ourselves out of the skill entirely. So, yeah. We'll be touching that again until the wilderness. Just making a quick pit stop at the bank to grab the rest of my cash stack. Because we're off to spend it, folks. Use this chronicle, click this door, should just be able to waltz right on in. Bada bing bada boom. I'm gonna start the quest because we will want to get the anti-dragon shield, even though we aren't completing the quest. And Mr. Scavo here is now gonna be able to sell us some lovely overpriced things. That's actually not that bad, I will definitely take both of these and this as well. And let's have a look here, 64k, okay that's bad. 50k, 32k. I feel like the rune chain's the most worth and I'll come back for the plate legs when I have more money. And I don't think the long sword's worth over the mace for the price it'd cost. Look at us, we are a chant. But we can't actually wear this yet, so what's that? Right, I'm gonna make my way over to Ozayak, cause I may as well. And I'll shoot anything I see on the way, cause we're almost at 40 range and actually be able to wear this then. Do you are at me? I guess I have to go back to Ask him about a dragon fire shield before I can get it from the duke, probably. Okay. Progressed all the dialogue options, we'll never be doing that anymore. Just remembered there was a different shop here too, in case. Thought I should probably check. Just an addy plate that we've already got. Don't think the blue cape has any different slots and we don't care about black stuff. Actually, I need some better arrows, don't I? Okay, well I've basically bankrupt myself again here. Accidentally bought some iron once, so that was a good start, but then, yeah. 
Basically bankrupt myself on the rest. So I guess I'm just going to take all of these and go back to frogs. Because I still need a bunch more prayer levels. And I still need some more range levels. And for now that's the best way to get both of them. So until I've got the prayer built up. I may as well be training my combats on things that give me big bones. Use the steel ones up first. Yeah, I'll probably just be farming frogs for the rest of the night, so I'll just turn the camera off now and catch up with you guys in the morning. I may get some more thieving done as well. I actually think the first all is a really solid method right now. I don't know if... The, the, I know they made some thieving changes recently to how stalls work, so I don't know if that's anything to do with it, but... It didn't feel bad at all, and it was actually a nice GP from the guy in Varrock. Hopefully these steel arrows start improving a bit, it's not feeling great, but yeah. I will see you guys soon. What's good everyone? It's the next day, I have been killing these frogs pretty much all day so far. <laughs> I don't know if I actually had to come back for this invent, I was kind of distracted and then I looked over and realised the tracker had passed to level 43 in our bank, so I will be going to, to do these. But I'm just going to finish off this invent first. You'll also probably see I've swapped over to melee because I used all my arrows. I got up to 43 range, but I used all my steel and myth arrows. I've got like 50 addy arrows, which I'm going to take and try against the catapult pawns in Stronghold of Security to see if that's like a more viable way of killing them than the mage we were using before. I don't expect they'll last very long, but I'll at least be able to get enough time using them to like figure out if I need to go and make money to buy more Adam and Arrows. So yeah, I can wear the green D hide now. Did wear it for a while. Not the the top obviously, but legs and the van braces. We now have the van braces on still because they are our best glove slot item. Our first really, other than some gloves which I haven't had for a while because I think I left click dropped them the same way I did my boots the other day. Yeah, it's been a lot quicker farming these once I did swap over to melee anyway with our higher levels. I think I'm pretty comfy keeping melee as my, like, primary style for the most part. Mainly because it's free. You know, runes cost money, arrows cost money. It, hitting things with a stick doesn't cost money. <laughs> And I'm broke. And having to make money just to go and kill things all the time is like a, it's a bit of a piss tick. We have actual zero money. I need some money to be able to unnote my bones of the guy. Okay. Oh my gosh, I actually just got caught by the guard for the first time ever in that spot. That has literally never happened. I've done like almost a thousand of these and that's the first time I've ever been spotted. It's okay though, there's a dog in the way, so he can't do shit. It's not my dick. Cheers, Molossus. Good doggy. Oi, you, with your little fucking unicorn dick on your head. I'm gonna remember this. For now that I'm off back to Varrock. An invent of this is like 3k, it's actually just notes. And when I say notes, I mean like it's very, very bad, but for a low level Iron Man moneymaker, it's such a unique thing to do. Like, I don't know if you can do this anywhere. Maybe you can do this in Ardy or somewhere else where there's stalls and it's not new at all. But I feel like it might be a different type of fur there. Maybe I just never knew that this method existed and was viable. But like, because I'm so limited, I can't do things like pick up steel, play bodies in the wilderness have to come up with these weird methods and right now this is the easiest way for me to get a few k just look at the money it's always so satisfying watching the number tick up as well just watching your cash stack grow and you're not even doing anything there we go that should be plenty hopefully okay i'll see you all again when i have arthritis please tell me i did actually get enough cash well, apparently I'm a wizard at eyeball estimating the amount of gold it'll take to unknown bones at this guy. Because that was pretty damn close. Time to go get our wine, which we'll just about be able to afford. And now for the very best part of the whole grind. This shit's even quicker than the Chaos Altar because you don't have to move your mouse. You just spam click till your meat is dry. Look at this shit. We do have to run and refresh though. 
That is 60 combat, 725 total level, almost enough for LMS. 43 prayer achieved, we have every single protection prayer now unlocked. Let's go, one level off at Eagle Eye still, two off Mystic Might, so prayer will be nice to get for those two in future, but they're not particularly desperate, and our prayer training would be a lot easier. We didn't have to kill frogs for big bones if we have access to dragons or if we could just pick big bones up in the boneyard in the wilderness and that would be far, far quicker than getting them from frogs. That's awesome. I should probably just teleport the Chronicle, to be honest, rather than getting the bird back. Okay, so we're probably going to be going up towards Edgeville and the Stronghold. See if we can't just, just snag ourselves an easy little scepter piece from the catapulpum. Still kind of broke though, so it's going to be a short trip, I guess. I guess I can take Melly to go to the Ankus when I run out of ammo. That makes sense. But you can't Melly the Cabal Pong because they drain you. Okay, there's a level 64 one here. Don't think that's the lowest, but it does seem to be in a room without anything else. And the spiders in that room were aggressive regardless of level. Am I in a safe spot here? I mean, the hit rate's not good, I'm not going to lie, but it is better than the mage was. But it's going to take a lot of arrows to get this down. And we don't have access to a better bow either right now. We're still using the maple, even though we're, what, 44 ranged. Could be using a U, but we just can't get one. Lucky? No. I mean, I guess I'll do another. I lost six arrows on that one. Oh, no. <sighs> You know, it's bad when you're at the point of picking up your arrows. These things are slow as hell. There's got to be a better way to kill them. There's got to be a better way, because that, that fucking sucks. I'm just going to go down and do the Anku, because I can do them with melee. They might hurt, but I'm hoping it's not too bad. And if it is, then I guess we have pray melee. We can always pray for a bit and then top up. Oh, I can flick my pray melee as well. That's a good point. Yeah, this floor will be way easier. I'm going to have to figure something out about those cattle pawn. It's just awkward that we can't melee with them because they'll constantly drain us. Okay, I'm going to go to a room without the ghosts because the ghosts are annoying. That's got skeletons. They're going to be aggressive too. Is there a room with only Anku? Ooh, are those our first blood runes maybe? Quite possible. 46 attack came in there as well. I think I'm just going to take it up to 50, just to make myself a bit more accurate, and then probably focus on strength again. Sticking at 40 defense is fine for now. Don't think we've got any defense requirements coming up anytime soon, with attainable gear, I mean. Ooh, Admin Arrows is not a bad drop. If these guys drop Admin Arrows, then it's definitely better of me to kill them first. Might actually give me a way to get on the Cattle Pawn if I can get a few drops of those. Oh! Beautiful. <laughs> Not bad myth or drops either. Hey, we got the we got the Anku on. Twenty one. Not too bad. I really need to figure out this cable pond situation. I mean, it's kind of like the wiki and stuff is seeming to suggest mage, but I'm I'm sure I was hitting terribly with mage. I don't know though. Maybe I should try it. Maybe I should try Chaos Runes, but I don't think I have any of them. Uh, yes, I've got fuck all Chaos Runes. But I can't afford any runes, so... Like, this is the only option. There is a safe spot, though, that I didn't know about. So hopefully that'll help, but... Well, I feel like I might have had it a safe spot last time, actually, come to think of it. Uh, I don't know. We'll just we'll try it and see how it goes. Yeah, this is just a safe spot, isn't it? Okay, well, this might be slow, but I think it's probably the best option. Mind runes are about as cheap as it's going to get for any ranged or mage supplies. So I guess I'll just have to stick this out and keep flicking. Hopefully it doesn't take too many kills. At least we are getting some magic XP out of it. Right, right, I'm about to go and eat. That's enough for me. For now, I will f finish off this grind later when I next log in. Even though it is going to take a while because they are very slow. But yeah, I'll see you all when I've either run out of runes or got the last part of the scepter. Okay, so the catable ponds were crazy slow. Like, I was there for a while. I got to 28kc, but nothing so far. I'm going to go back there. 
but I feel like I need every little bit of magic accuracy I can get, and right now I'm just wearing this priest gown. So I'm going to kill this Zamrock wizard for a while, and hopefully get uh, his rub bottoms, and maybe his rub top as well, although I think that is slightly less accurate. And yeah, that's the plan, but I just turned up and this imp was in there in the cage, and I don't know, I just find that hilarious. But yeah, we'll have to telegrab the rub bottoms if they do drop. It's a 1 in 20 rate, so hopefully we're not here for too long. Though I do need to go make some money so I can restock on runes too, because we are almost out of both. <laughs> both money and runes. And this is a long respawn timer. Okay, this is taking actual years to respawn. I'm going to hop to the next world. I guess I'll just hop through, as long as no one's splashing on them. Ooh, the top. I guess it's probably worth grabbing, I'll just have to go to a bank because I only had one law rune on me. It is minus one magic bonus, but it has a prayer bonus, so I feel like if I'm not super inaccurate, it is the better option. But in this case, I will want every little magic bonus I can get. Why have I got fucking fancy boots on? That probably wasn't helping either. Did not realise I had those on. I thought I had leather. I can sell this Addy plate now. That'll give me the money for some runes. I don't need it now, I've got the rune chain. Oh, he doesn't buy them. Uh, well, I know the guy in Valamor does, so... Uh, guess it's worth the trip now that I put it in my invent. Yeah, we can get 10k back from this, that's nice. I feel like it'd be silly not to just fill up on fur while I'm here as well, then teleport into Varric Square and sell it off. And then just spend all my money on runes. Pretty sure this kid's trying to rob me, he's been stood there like five minutes just right next to my pocket. Oh, okay. Guess I just needed to say something. Maybe he was just trying to learn how I was being such an immaculate thief. Really, this fur, fur trader is dumb as shit. Yeah, it's okay, kid. You can watch. Come on, I'll show you how to steal fur like a big man. See, there's a guard right there. You didn't give a fuck either. It's easy, bro. Kid's seen enough. He's off to steal his own fur. I honestly just can't get over this method. I can't get over the fact that there's a use for Grey Wolf fur. Like, who thought first alls were useful for anything? This is just, it's blowing my mind. Alright, I'll top up on runes after I've got this skirt. I've just realised too, casting on the Catable Pond, there is no reason for me to be using Fire Strike. This takes more runes. If I just use an Air Staff, oh, beautiful. If I just use an Air Staff and Wind Strike, that's meant to be able to do the same amount of damage now that they made the changes. As long as you have Fire Strike unlocked, it does the same damage. So all I need to do is buy Mind Runes and I can just cast Wind Strike. That should be as good as Fire Strike. Won't be as much raw XP per cast, I guess, but I'm fine with that. I don't need to buy Air Runes either if I'm using an Air Staff, which I have in the bank. And a plus two magic attack bonus from those bottoms. So yeah, let's just get all of the mind runes. Oh damn, everyone's mining that star. Not really much point in stars for us. We can't use the star dust, so... Other than there's an AFK mining XP, which isn't that great XP rate. Yeah, I'm just going to take my death runes and my chaos runes as well. I'm going to get as much out of this as I can. Okay, we effectively got a plus five magic accuracy bonus out of changing our boots and our skirts. So, fingers crossed that's enough to make this a little less painful. Plus the fact that I just have 4,000 casts out here now, I don't have to worry about my other runes. I'm gonna use up the chaos of the death and then we will finish on the airstrikes. Which, as I say, are supposed to hit just as hard as fire strikes now with the recent, maybe not recent, but about a month or two ago they made those combat changes to magic. I just completely forgot about it until now. I'm gonna try and make sure I hit these flicks for bigger runes especially. Oh, that was such a quick kill. I know we're using chaos runes and that's the difference, but that was so quick. Of course, all my death runes are splashing. Oh, we got it finally. Oh, I only just got back here. I say finally, there was 31 KC, it wasn't that bad, it just took a long, long time. Wow, I didn't even need all those extra runes, what a dumbass. I wish I'd done it more efficiently in the first place, but yeah, I'm glad that that's done. Okay, we need to make the Sepsa now and equip it, I think that was the task. Oh, it's just obtain, but yeah, basically equip it too. 
I think we can imbue it too, so that it doesn't shatter when it runs out of charges. Let's go, the Skull Scepter. We do need our boots to get it imbued, which I may as well just go and do. So otherwise I'll never get around to it. Look at this thing. Can auto cast? Pretty sure it can when you get it imbued. Has teleports to Barb Village though, which at the minute is like our best way to Edgeville, I guess. Bruh. Cool, we got our imbued Skull Scepter. Which can auto-cast Crumble Undead only. That is interesting to know though, if we don't have a Slayer Staff, then there's nothing else that can auto-cast that for us for, I don't know, how long. So, could be handy in a niche circumstance, but that is another task crossed off the list. We have now done four out of five of our tasks within the Mistlin region. We are almost onto the wilderness, baby. And we're pretty much ready to go with the next task now. We need to kill Scurrius, Briar Fighter, and Obor, and we have a key for each of the giants, and Scurrius we can walk up to any time we want. We got our protection prayers online, there is nothing to wait for now. The only thing standing between Woody Wild and the Wildy Woods is those three bosses. I'm going to go have a smoke and then tackle them each one at a time. Alright folks, so we're going to have our first attempt at Scurrius. Now, I'm not entirely sure this is going to go very well. Probably should have topped up my prayer to full first, because we don't have any prayer pots, and that's the main thing I'm worried about. If it starts to take a while, then I might run low on prayer. I'm going to have to basically be a one-tick flick in this whole fight, and switching prayers accordingly, and yeah, it's... It's going to be a whole thing, so fingers crossed we get it, but if we don't, it's okay. Could have as many attempts as we need to at this one. Uh, whereas the other two, we do need to get those keys every time we want to make an attempt, so they are more one shot at the minute. But yeah, let's just get in there and see how this goes. Uh, I'm going to repot because it ticks down immediately for some fucking reason. And I'm going into the private one because iron men can't loot from the mass ones. Realised if I'm flaking, I should just be flicking all my offensive ones too. Yeah, I don't know if our DPS is going to be high enough to really do this. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be flicking offensive ones because then I can't leave it on when I need to move without it draining loads. Yeah, the main thing I'm worried about is not being able to do enough DPS to stop him from just infinitely eating. Oh no, he's called rats on me. I'm just going to have to leave the prayer on through this and deal with them. They'll do too much chip damage to me otherwise. Oof. Just being careful and eating up. Oh, I might just have to try and trap these. Because I think we just need to keep DPS or he's just going to infinitely heal on us. Oh, I'll, le I'll kill all but one. And then I know they won't respawn, but I won't have them all on me all the time. Fuck's sake, man. Oh, no, that's not good. I can't tell if we're making any progress at all. Shit, I accidentally killed the rat with an auto. Fuck. I do not have the prayer to deal with those. Now's not the time, 47 attack. Oh, I feel like we're actually getting somewhere. But we've run so low on prayer and food at this point. No! I ordered the rat. Oh my gosh, I managed to get an E in. Oh no, fucks, I think that might be the end of it. Oh my gosh, that was ridiculous. Ridiculous, you have n Yo, what the fuck? That was like 10 straight minutes. Ugh. I don't know if we're strong enough to take on Scurrius yet. We might need to bulk up a bit more for that one. We might need to for all of them, to be honest. I think I'm just going to get my stats a bit higher, honestly. I'm looking at these and thinking, to be killing bosses, yeah, my stats aren't high enough. I need better... 
like my gear shit because of all my restrictions so I need to at least have decent stats to have a chance at this sort of thing. So I think I'm just gonna go like AFK train on sand crabs maybe. I can't think of anything that's really worthwhile for me to kill and I'm not collecting any more big bones and doing bank trips and shit like that. I just can't be asked. I'd rather just go sit at crabs or something for a bit. Oh, I was hoping that'd be a maze. That would have been a nice little present. Yeah, we don't have any access to like chaos druids to farm herbs. I suppose I could go back to bandits, old faithful, but the drops aren't that great. They're just, eh. Hey, two collection log slots. We are clogging. 17 down already. Smashing out those random events. Yeah, I think I am just going to go into AFK crabs for a bit. I don't think my levels or gear are high enough to be doing this content right now. And the gear is not really going to get much better in our current zone. This is pretty much what we have access to. So I suppose I could go for like a strength amulet. But we weren't really that accurate rather than the strength being an issue. I think we need a higher attack level. I'll figure it out. But yeah, see you all another day more than likely after I've done some AFKing. Hey again everyone, I spent a lot of last night AFKing at Sand Crabs and I've got up a decent amount of the way here. 50 attack achieved, 58 strength. I'm gonna keep going, 54 hit points as well. I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna go to 60 strength and I might go to like 55 attack. I just want to make sure that I can do enough DPS to get through this Scurious fight. But I figured in the meantime, while I'm doing that, I should probably try and make sure to do as many farm runs as possible because we really need to get our herb law level up and right now we don't have great access to herbs outside of the seeds that we potentially have. We've got eight of these Marantil seeds. If I kill unicorns, I could just kill unicorns instead of AFK and, and then I'll be able to make potions with these. We've got Taramin seed as well there but we can't plant yet. Almost at that Marantil. I'm going to take them with us because we might be able to plant it on this run depending on if we get enough. I think we should probably. So yeah, I'm going to go do a quick little farm run. I don't really know the best way to get to the Draenor patch. Oh, that is a weird one. I don't have a good way to get to Draenor. I guess Skull Scepter. <laughs> Weirdest farm run tool you've ever seen. The Skull Scepter. Ten charges we've got. Okay. I feel like there's going to be loads of shit on the diaries that is going to make me break my rules. I don't, I don't know. Just thought I'd take a tiny look here. Doesn't get any teleports on the first level even, but our lovely stuff. It looks like our marigold worked out. Kept the tomatoes nice and pure. Should have probably bought another marigold seed for the other patch because I don't think I planted any there. Okay, the easy diary doesn't break any rules. What about the medium? I mean, I did include rule breaking for diaries in my initial thing. Oh, we have to do animal magnetism to get an Avis device. I see. See, that is a bit of an odd one. Because I can do it, but... Oh, you need fairy rings as well. So I'm going to have to do this stuff anyway. I was going to say I can do it, but I won't be allowed to use the Avis afterwards. But the fairy rings, I feel like I should be able to use afterwards because you couldn't leak. The only reason I hadn't included them prior is because of the amount of different stuff you have to do to unlock them. But if I have to do it anyway for the medium diary, then I'm okay to let myself have that one. The Avers, though, I don't think I should have. So whenever it does come to it, I will allow myself to do animal magnetism and get the Avers for this diary. But then I will have to get rid of it. At least that's how I, I feel it should go. If you have different feelings, let me know in the comments your feelings work out better for my account and nobody else dislikes them and maybe i'll go with them but yeah that's currently how i'm feeling about the whole situation fairy rings will be allowed but not the avers because unless i'm wrong I, I don't remember any thing about avers in leagues being like an auto pop or anything there was a relic that allowed you to like get Avers effectively on your ranged ammo or on your runes or whatever, but that's not the same thing, so. Are there any other patches I have access to? I feel like this is it at the moment, right? Yeah, we don't get Corrange yet, we never get Ardi or Cathabay off on, yeah, or Mauritania. There's 15 farming. We not only have to get up to the level to grow Renar seeds, 
we also need to be able to mix them. So we need 38 prayer to make prayer potions. And looks like 32 farming to grow Renar weeds. We can't grow snape grass, but we do know where there are spawns of it if we need to pick it up. So yeah, 32 and 38 is what I'm aiming for here on the crafting, uh, on the herb law and the farming. And I guess between them, I'm going to go find some unicorns to kill, which I think is like up here. But maybe there's a closer group I'm going to search. Oh, yeah, there's some literally just to the north near Bab Village. Okay, I'll just go kill them. We can bank at Edgeville. We'll be near enough to this patch that we can run back down to it. Though I don't really have a quick way of getting back to... Valamore. That's the problem at the minute, my two patches are very far apart from each other. There's no quick transport to get between them. This isn't really reliable long term and I don't have my Fortis teleport yet or a real supply of war runes. Alright, I just want to update y'all anyway on the, the melee training and what I'm planning to do today. There's going to be a lot of prep today, basically. Just trying to stock up on supplies. I could probably do some food better than salmon as well, because salmon's shit. So, I'll probably work on that too. But, yeah, it's going to be a lot of just skilling today. So, I'll see you when all the skilling is done. <sighs> okay, folks. I was not set up to record. I was killing men. I thought I'll just get some extra herbs killing men and get some herb water in that way while I'm waiting for stuff to grow. And I got a clue scroll and I thought, oh, it'll just peter out. I may as well just go and do it without turning my camera on. Obviously, it was actually successful. This was a two-step easy clue. The second step was here at Vanaka. The first step was to go to the limestone mine with bronze plate legs, a steel pickaxe and a steel med helm. Which I just banked on my way here. <laughs> I promise this was all legal. It was all in the zones. The limestone mine is in the border that I outlined on the Mistler map. So this is a legitimate easy clue. Just a few days after we got that beginner one done. Let's see what's inside. Uh, nothing. Yeah, I mean, they might be useful for some edge case scenario where we need them for a clue or, or something like that, but pretty much nothing. Still very cool to have an easy clue completed on the account in just two steps in our first two regions. Well, folks, I have been grinding away, but let me tell you, this is slow as fuck. I managed to get up to 29 farming so far, just boosted to 32 to plant my first Renar seeds with a garden pie. And yeah, the herb laws up to 33 out of 38. I've basically been at this for like over a full day at this point, but it is extremely slow for a couple of reasons. One thing is that we only have super compost at best, so a lot of our crops are unfortunately dying we've had a lot of herbs die and lost seeds and thus an hour of time basically that way and that's the other thing is it's just the real time that this takes because we only have two patches and i've been doing the allotment patches as well as the and, and the flower patches been doing all of the available patches basically other than hops like, because we only have two of them, we're not actually getting that much XP from every run in comparison to the five or six you might usually have on an average account. We do get two more in Corrand with Hosidius and the Farming Guild eventually, but right now we don't have them. And yeah, it is very slow. So there's that, there's the compost, and then there's a lack of seeds in general, really. I've been pickpocketing a lot. There's a few different parts of the process. We've got to pickpocket seeds. We've got to plant and grow seeds and harvest them. We've got to clean the herbs and make potions out of them. Source secondaries as needed as well. It's, it's quite a an in-depth process going on here. So I've got my pickpocket in almost up to 50 now. I think I'm gonna just plan to get it up to 50 on this trip and then I can uh, start using the the better thieving option at Valamore rather than furs for my GP. <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess I just wanted to give a little update onto how things are going here, because I've been playing it off cam, doing a lot of grinding, but it, it's still got lots of the grind to go. I've also been killing men at Edgeville in the downtime, if I haven't needed to pickpocket, just collecting as many bonus herbs as I can and processing those. Yeah, not a great deal to show for it, other than slowly, slowly increasing levels. 
But I was looking at the amount of footage I had, and it seemed like I actually had a decent amount already. So I think I've decided I'm going to wrap up this episode rather than pushing on another day or two recording to get the bosses done in this region. I'm just going to wrap this one up here, and then at the start of the next episode, I'll have had a chance to AFK some of these less exciting skills up some more, and then we can get to the actual boss fights of this region towards the start of the next episode, and move straight on into the wilderness and have some fun there. So yeah, that's what I'm currently thinking. Hope everyone's still enjoying the series. Shout outs to all the subscribers I've been having recently. As this is dropping, or the day that this is dropping, the first RuneScape party ever is being filmed and it's had some great engagement from everyone. So thank you for coming and, and paying attention to that if you have been. It's going to be a blast. I absolutely cannot wait. I can't wait to edit the footage down so I can get it out to you all afterwards. But for this episode of the Wild West, that's going to be it. If you enjoyed this episode of the Wild West, please do make sure to hit that like button. It helps out a ton, just promotes me into the world so more people can find the content that you are enjoying and we can grow this channel even further. And subscribe too if you haven't already so you don't miss any of the future content. I have a huge back catalogue by now and I'm only adding to it more as we go, so stick around to see all of that by hitting the subscribe button. Look after yourselves, be lovely to each other. I'll see you on the next one.